Welcome to the NatFL channel. The Miami Dolphins were among a handful of NFL teams to make the headlines yesterday for some of their upcoming roster transactions ahead of the start of the free agency window, which is less than two weeks away. Miami's reported decision to part ways with Kyle Van Noy is a stunner, largely because the team only brought the veteran linebacker into the fray in 2020 and paid him a four-year, $51 million contract with $30 million in stipulated guarantees included. But Miami did some wise structuring of Van Noy's deal and will part ways with the linebacker after one season and having paid him just over $15 million for his services and hardly over $4 million in dead cap for the upcoming offseason. The decision to part ways with Van Noy will save the Dolphins at least $9.75 million against the cap in 2021, enough to sign a considerable talent or perhaps even two quality starters. And that's why, amid all the other excess in cap commitments the Dolphins are facing, this decision is such a significant one for the outlook of 2021. Van Noy was an as-advertised player. He was never going to blow you away but his versatility, leadership and toughness were assets to Miami's locker room in 2020. Those factors being outweighed by the financials tell you one thing, the Dolphins are probably gearing up for another aggressive run this offseason. Van Noy was a quality starter and the Dolphins could have waived Albert Wilson, Jakeem Grant and Clayton Figidellum in 2021 if the team simply wanted more wiggle room to sign a few key players. This isn't that. This is a seismic change of direction from just a year ago, the Dolphins held no loyalty to their 2020 signing because it was deemed that the funds could be better served elsewhere on the roster this year. So brace yourself, Dolphins fans. This has the feeling of the start of a hectic few weeks for the Dolphins. And Miami likely will make another significant move along the way, opening more room for the kind of high-profile additions to South Florida that the staff deems necessary to awake their offense in 2021.